All right, now let's play. Now, now, now that we're playing an actual human being and not, you know, like a half man, half beast, you know, something that something that lives under your bed at night. Like Hikaru is the kind of thing that, like, when, when you're when you're a kid and you're afraid of like monsters under your bed. For me, for me, that's Hikaru. You know, I'm gonna go to sleep tonight and then I'm gonna like I'm gonna dream about like like a beast that has like Hikaru's face under under my bed. <laughs> that's really good. All right, let's get back. So, all right, anyway, we should be starting in a second. Um, yeah, we should be starting in a second. Okay, incoming this side. All right, let's, let me go. Let me get my headphones completely out of the way. Put them here, okay, let's go. It's 30 minutes. Yeah, and the game has started. Before we look into the game, let me remind you of the community poll we have going on, guys. Um, make sure to vote in the chat who you think is going to win this match. Uh, you can vote by saying in the chat either Hikaru or Brandon. And um, yeah, make sure to get involved, everyone. I think we know how that poll is going to go, but let's see how the games <laughs> uh, start here. So right now, Hikaru with the white pieces, he's a bit more space thanks to his pawn E5. But look at this knight coming into D3. The rook on the D file is good. And here comes this B pawn with a four. Oh, wow. Yeah, knight takes a four. Wow, nice tactic. Off to a pretty poor start, I have to say. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Actually, I just got him. What am I doing? This is 3-0. There's... Um, what am I doing? Shoot, I'm I'm playing horribly. I mean, Brendan's up a pawn. Yeah, yeah, it looks really nice. But how do you deal with this knight on c4? Because there's no way you can kick this knight out of there. Okay, so he's just making it's a white it's fewer pawns on the king side, and yeah, passive bit of passive defense for black for the moment. But I think you gotta go after this g4 pawn now. Hikaru is a lead on the clock. Yeah, it's it's very close on the clock, but Hikaru is just pushing on the queen side here, and it's really hard to stop that b pawn. Okay, but the white king is trying to go up to a7 at some point, maybe because the rook on c8 covered the knight, so then the b and the a pawns are just they're going. Can't stop. And the knight and the rook are both stopping that G pawn from promoting. Um, and white pawn is just promoting. And there we go. Resignation from Brandon. Oh, much faster than Brandon at the end. We're going to get a beef eater. No, he doesn't want the beef eater. So let's go here. Actually, let me know his chat too, because that's distracting out of the corner of my eye. Let's go D6. Let's go here. Uh, wait, this allows knight b3, wait a second. Take, go here. Okay, Bran is off to, this This is actually very, very bad for him. Let's go here, I have rook a3. Okay, this are, I'm already gonna be up 2-0. This is already GG's. GG, yo, I've got knight c5, knight b3. I mean, if he's smart, he should just resign and save time, and he does. Go back. And he got a good position, so he's going to repeat. Okay, that's a mistake. I feel like Brandon's maybe tilting just a touch here. I don't know. That's what I feel like. I feel like he's tilting just a bit. Okay. Now I can play f4. Hmm. I'm going to go h3 and then f4, I guess. surprisingly slow um wait a second let's just go here i mean this this is 3-0 right I'm, or not 3-0 1-0 unless i'm insane let's go here ah, i blundered wait but wait they can take um oh wait i just i go here <laughs> i just win by one tempo king is stuck in the corner okay good good stuff three up three down let's keep going
Yeah, tries to go for the cheese. I actually expected that. That would have been a very poor to lose like that, by the way. So we're in game four, three nil in Hikaru's favor. And Hikaru, look at his, he's 33-28. Are you serious? <laughs> I yes, didn't know so that. Birds. <laughs> well, obviously, I know Hikaru's, you know, he is the final boss, right? But I didn't know yeah. he was 33 28. Yeah, it's uh, like, it, I, I mean, it's not double my rating, but it almost feels that way, you know? <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> Taking Rook C5, and he blunders again, and now I'm going to win another quick game here. This should be more or less the match, unless I'm insane. Oh, let's go here. Hmm. Let's go here. Keep it simple. I mean, he can go B4, obviously. But why am I thinking so? I'm up time. Why am I thinking so long here? No need. Okay. Mindset. That's a good move. Here we get the win. Let's keep going. Four up, four down. 23 minutes. I think there's a break at 15, as I recall. So, bum, 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 bum. In addition to the problems he's facing against Hikaru, he's facing some connection problems, it looks like. So, I don't know if he's in a computer room or where exactly he's playing from, but his, his lag now is kicking in. Yeah, that is not ideal. Let's trade the juicers. Let's trade the juicers. Let's go here. Let's go here. Got to be careful not to get too cocky. That's the one. That's the one thing. Uh, I don't want to go after, but I will go here. Yeah, of course I allowed that, which was moronic by me. Let's go here. Uh, but now he gives me knight d5 again. Slight mistake by Brandon. He's still probably okay here. Um, uh, so he does have knight e6. I'm gonna go. Yeah, a little bit ugly. Take. Let's go C5. I'm trying to play tricky here. Knight D4. I think I take and go here. Now Knight C7. I mean, this is starting to get a little bit airy for for Black. Whoa, 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 whoa! What is that? He's not quite feeling it, and maybe it's just the Hikaru effect where you play against Hikaru and you figure I'm I'm going to get crushed. This is not good. But you know, he had a good position, and he also knows that a light square bishop against a knight on a D4 square. I mean, the knight often wins those kind of battles. Take. Why am I singing the national anthem? I can take and go knight e5. Should be fine here. He goes to f5. That's yeah. What, what's wrong? Now, now I'm just like moving too fast. Okay. Let's go here. I might lose this game. This is actually the first game that I'm in a significant Yay! amount of trouble, potentially. Um, how do I do Crumble this? Let's go. Out of Bezos Let's go here. I'm just going to start pushing my pawns. Take all the juicers. Come on, Nakamura. Here. Yeah, I probably will lose this game. But again, I'm already up. I'm already doing so well. It's not, not that big of a deal. What? See, that's one of those moves that I don't think is correct because now you're down the clock and Hikar's 
end game isn't particularly bad. So it looks like Brent tried to play for a win by moving the king to f2, but now he isn't even on material. And okay, take on just take on g6. Yeah, it's he much easier for Hikaru to play here. Uh, Hikaru is the one giving checks all the time, and Brandon has to play really fast. It proved through the night that our flag was still there. Again, I don't know why I'm saying it. Okay, let's play night before. Um, I'll just kick the knight out of town. Go here, attack the pawns. Thank you very much, Brandon. Very, very generous of you. We still have like three more games coming in. One thing I am paying attention to is how, what is the volume of games? Like how many games we actually play in this match? Now I'm going to hit him with a bunch of jumps and I should already be winning again. Yes, gotcha with night before. He didn't expect night before. I tricked him. Let's go here. I'm actually a little bit dubious what I did this game. Take. Take. Go here. I mean, oh, he's got rookie eight. That's actually very tricky. A good move too. Um, let's go here. Ah, uh, that's actually is very, uh, very dubioso. Whoa! What just happened to my mouse? Whoa! My, my mouse just got stuck there. What the heck was that? Um. Okay, that's not good. My mouse literally just got stuck. It, like, I don't know if it was the input or what happened, but geez. Go here. Probably a mistake. Four. Oh, it's mate. No, it's not mate. Uh, the bishop was closed off. So he first takes three, the, the, the rooks and the bishop at four, yeah. <laughs> yeah. King g7, king. Nice. You don't want to allow the queen in there. Oh, and... the king is escaping. Wow. The king's just running away. Look like he he won the game and now he's gonna lose. Wow. Okay, now now I'm definitely winning. Here we get the dub. I think we have time for one more game. 17 minutes. I know the cam is probably shaking because my head is moving undoubtedly, but uh, that's just what it is, you guys. Obviously, it's tw cheap $25 webcam. What can I say? I uh, give him B3. Okay, let's just castle right here. Here. Probably knight c5. I mean, I have bishop h6 here, which is, I don't know if it's a good move, but it seems like a move. Now, queen f3. Now, I can obviously take, wait a second, I don't want to blunder this. So I'm going to go here, attack the knight. I and mean, he does have knight h5 at some point, but I just take. Wait, what? It's just a free pawn. Man, poor Brandon. Not off to a good start here at all. And yeah, now I go rookie eight, and now I mean now I just lost. Just down a pawn for nothing, really. And he's down time on the clock, and it's just an absolute disaster. So let's go here. Yeah, it just keeps getting worse and worse. Let's go here. Um, creative move, but I'll go check and block. Yeah, it's just lost. He's got no good moves. Now I go check. I take the knight. Game over. Time for one more, probably. Let's go here. We've already got 10 games under our belt, and we're very early on. Oh, that's a blunder. Yeah, Brandon's completely on tilt here. He's totally on tilt. Um. Oh, that's a very rough one. Nah, uh, you I mean Hikaru doing Hikaru things. 
That's all you got to say, brothers. Knight g4 is about to happen, and then knight h6 would be checkmate. That's what I'm already looking at. Knight c6 is also a threat. Yeah. Yeah, this is just very, very rough uh, for black. Um, all sorts of tactics in the air. The knight on e4, it looks really good there, but after f3, you have to move back, and it doesn't have really nice scores. Queen c3. Um, I was hoping that there are some knight f6 checks, but not possible. Um, yeah, and just trading off to a winning endgame. I was wondering if Hikaru should play d5, because when his bishop was on d5, the knight couldn't get out. So at least. For Brennan, he has some chances, as it's only one pawn extra for white. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he's, he's a pawn up, so this should be winning, but... Um, yeah, and also, like, with the pawns on both sides, like, the bishop is always stronger than the knight. That's right. I, and I think that perhaps Brennan had to take and play a5. I mean, no, this is just... Seven. There we go. We got the win, and I think that's it, but we'll see. That's either it or not it, but I think, it, yeah, it's a board. Okay, you guys, we got a break, our first break. Um, so yeah, so we'll take a short break and we'll keep rolling right along. I'll be right back in, a, back in a few minutes, you guys. All right, now let's play, now, now, now that we're playing an actual human being and not, you know, like a half man, half beast, you know, something that something that lives under your bed at night. Like Hikaru is the kind of thing that like, when, when, you're, when you're a kid and you're afraid of like monsters under your bed, for me, for me that's Hikaru, you know, I'm gonna go to sleep tonight and then I'm gonna like, I'm gonna dream about like, like a beast that has like Hikaru's face under, under my bed. <laughs> That's really good. All right, let's get back. I guess Brandon will be playing from his phone. I have played Bullet from my phone many times. Uh, it, it usually doesn't go that well for me. Windows. Uh, there we go. Minimize everything. Minimize. Okay, I'm giving him a time edge. Let's go. Back to basics. No, that's not a move. Looking for a knockout blow, but I don't think it exists here. Over here. Okay, and just like that, I should be completely fine. I should just win this game. Queen g6, and Hikar is able to uh, settle down on the king side and stop the attack. Knight takes e4, what a move! Yeah, walking into a pin because of the back range checkmate. That's just a disaster. And for for Brandon, I mean, good start to the game, but Hikar was very tactically. Your target the bishop, <clears throat> pretty much over. I'm gonna win again, 12-0. Life is tough. Life is tough. Let's go here. That was a bad pre-move. He could have actually done something else. Okay. Um. What? Oh, whoa, whoa. Wait. Oh, no. I just blundered. Shoot. Ack, I made a mistake. I forgot the rook on F1 was hanging. Ack. Wait, what? I don't know what's happening. Uh, there's so many pieces hanging. <laughs> he wanted queen g5, but then he realized that there was bishop returning to h3 to defend it, so that's oh. why he took on g2. And it's even material. Black's king probably a little bit safer right now, especially the rook d5. Instead, it was queen g5 check, but can you take queen h1? Queen h1, king, king e2, yeah, it's not so clear. But I think you just have to go queen h1, take on h2. Yeah. You don't really have a choice. All right, queen d6. G5. It's not so clear. Like the white king is uh, doing pretty good job surviving oh. there, but now there's some chance. H six. Of... Nice move. Uh, I just have to move. Hmm. This one I'm gonna actually lose. But the problem is he's playing on his phone, so uh, <laughs> you you end up going more slowly when you're playing on mobile and we'll see if he's able oh there's rook f2 check if you take on oh F7. what a nice tactic rook e1 keeping up that rook e5. uh check in the position rook e5 is a beautiful move but 
So a draw, unbelievable. I'm gonna be nice, I'm gonna give him a draw. I don't really wanna try to cheese him here. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, you know what? Whatever, let's try to cheese him. Let's try to cheese him. Hikaru is playing to win. Down a pawn, losing position, it doesn't matter. Hikaru's trying to flag it, but now Hikaru might get flagged. Check, okay. Ah. <laughs> Tried to cheese him, but I couldn't do it. Of course, I should have lost at the end too, so. And he knocked Hikaru under 20, uh, 3350, I said 20. Like, you don't think of chess ratings over 3000, but for Hikaru Nakamura and uh, chess.com server, yeah, his ratings are over 3000. So he was knocked below 3350. Yeah, it's absolutely crazy uh, rating there. Um, what is happening in this position? Uh, what happened to Brenda's development? It, it looks very odd with the rook uh, on a1, queen on b1, and the other rook on c1. It almost looks like a chess 960 position. <laughs> um, hmm. Okay, let's just go for it. He blunders this. I think he missed this. He allowed pawn takes e3. That's very surprising. He could have just... I moved his pawn instead, and now it's... Ah, I could have trapped his queen, too. Could have trapped the queen. I'm so bad at chess. Let's go here and take. Go here. Bishop about 5 just trapped the queen uh, 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 all at once. Very disgustingly bad by me. Oh, well. Still probably going to win despite that miss, but whatever. You finish it up. Yeah, so yeah, Hikaru just trying to... Oh, look at this pawns all in the dark squares. That's a dark square bishop. Not happy to see the pawns going like this and ooh, forcing the queen trade. Otherwise, mate. Resign. Let's go again. This I gained three points for that. Up to 3351 now. What a rating. Yeah, no, he's going to be happy about that. He's back to his winning ways. And, you know, for Brandon, still nine more minutes left in this match, but you oh, probably. <laughs> Probably want it to be over sooner rather than later. Absolutely, yeah. I, I would fully, fully believe that. Uh, Hikaru's trying to push B4 here. Wait a second, wait a second. That's a mistake. Just, I don't know why it's a mistake, but I know it's a mistake. I just can't figure out what's wrong with it. I should have taken with a knight, too. That was also poor. Let's go back. Uh, let's just go here. Uh, checkmate, maybe? And, oh. Ooh, Rick did allowing Queen FH check, and that is not looking good. Uh, both for the king as well as the rook, because the rook is simply hanging. Uh, no need to go for broke. Just take the rook and end the game. Again. Oh, let's just take and go here, I guess. I can castle. Pretty ugly position again for Brandon. Queen on h6 is very odd place, and that's why Brandon decides to put it back on d2. Uh, he oh. probably needs to put the knight on d4 now um, to make sure that uh, the knight is on a better spot. Bishop g4 attacking the rook. Uh, do you want to play f3 here? Okay, he goes for rook c1, making sure that the c2 pawn is well defended. Um, yeah, and keeping an eye on his d5. But your point is very well like taken. On my, the so knight long. wants to go to d4, and maybe now's the time. Knight e2 to d4. Mm, let's just castle. Absolutely. What? Wow. I mean, Brandon is uh, losing his mind here. I just go 94 and takes. What is Brandon doing? Oh, I hung the pawn on E7. Shoot. Oh my God. The one thing that I could not hang, I hung it. We see a queen trade and rook D8. Oh no, back rank checkmate problems. Knight E3, he was able to save that. Uh, okay, let's go here. very, very uh, quickly. And yeah, this is a very, very complicated position. Um, you just trapped your rook, Brandon. Unfortunate. 
Do we have six minutes? Ah, he tricked me with C5. Ugh. Ugh. That's what happens when you play Hikaru. You're like, yes, my position looks good. Oh, five moves later. Nope, I'm completely lost. That didn't go so well. Just, you know, Hikaru, when he's in this kind of form, he's unstoppable. Exactly, Robert. And this knight on c6 is quite a monster. There are so many tactics in this position. Um, instead, Hikaru goes back to b4. Um, okay, knight on d5 is still super, super strong, and he should have a positional advantage. Kind of here annoying, for sure. actually, for black here to play. I mean, a lot of weaknesses. Let's go e4. I, oh, I knight b. Oh, wait, no, knight b6. I like get there's a back rank check. Wait, still a back rank check. Now, let's go here. Oh, now I have knight b6 and I have rook c6, so I should just be winning here. I have, I have two tactics. And now queen d1 is no longer an ice skater because I can move the king. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, five minutes. Bada bing, bada boom. You bada bing, probably bada boom. think about crying because it's bada in bing, that kind of match. Bada boom. You then realize that it's just a game. You'll be all right. And then you say, there's still five minutes left in this match. Five minutes. So I want to get the score to 19 and a half if I can. That would be a nice score. Again, as they say at Cobra Kai, strike first, strike hard, no mercy. Even when you're ahead fixing a half half, no mercy. Um, let's just go here. I don't even know if this is good. I mean, I'm happy, you know, if you ever playing an event, I'll just send you a message, be like, remember, it's just a game. You, it will be okay. <laughs> uh, but... Fantastic. Thank you, Robert. <laughs> Hippopotamus, great opening. What can I say? Four minutes. Four minutes and what? Four minutes and twenty-nine. Okay. Yay! I mean, this is this is just absolutely brutal. Um, yeah, I think Brandon's just like he's just like, why am I even playing at this point? I think Brandon's losing on time on purpose so the match can end. That's why things happen. No, I, I mean completely serious. Like, otherwise he would just resign. But if you resign, that means you have to play more games. So he's just going to let the clock go to zero. Has this ever happened before, Roberts? All right. Well, yeah. I, I maybe he's just doing because he, does, he doesn't want. He, he's just like he just doesn't want this to go on any longer as well. Um. Again. Okay. He's just gonna run the timeout, isn't he? Yeah, he's gonna run the timeout here. Ugh. Yeah, it's tough. Hmm. All right, well, that was fun, I guess. Um, yeah, that's what it is, kind of. What? Aborted? Game aborted? <laughs> Game aborted? What? Wait, did they, did they just end the match or something? Wait, what? I think this was chess.com's way of being like, let's end this match. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. What just happened? This, uh, this is match over, so it's in the books. I, I think we can just call it. Uh, Hikaru Nakamura obviously wins. Oh, his, his, internet is, his, his internet collapsed again. His internet went down. Okay. Um... All right. Yeah, his internet went down. I mean, okay, whatever. Like, I mean, that game should have counted, by the way. I, I don't know why it didn't count. A little bit weird. It's take and take. I mean, it, it seems like Brandon's internet has been going down left and right, and so uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Yeah, what what a <laughs> moment to have a game aboard! <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, so uh, I think uh, I, I don't know if we can do this right. The the show must go on, as they say in Moulin Rouge. So I, I can't just be like, let's just put the two minutes down to zero minutes, you know, for everybody's sake, but Hikaru wants his rating points. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, 
Okay, there's a fork in a position, but it will uh, equalize the material a little bit. And the pond before is so far doing a good job. Mm -hmm. And Brandon is doing a good job. Pawn A4 is dropped, and now he can think of um, having winning chances. So, yeah, Brandon just has a pass pawn, and the knight isn't doing anything. Maybe the knight's going to get trapped, actually. Yeah. Oh, 95 check. 96, 98 oh, check. There we go, and now I take, and that's free piece. It's free pawn. No! <laughs> <laughs> How does he Kara do this? How does he always find like the knight right, was in such a trap position left. and he still Last manages game. to get a fork out of this and Brandon tried the desperado there. Did you see that? Okay. Yeah, I mean 50 seconds. He's gonna run the clock out here. Yeah, this will be the last game. That's what it is. Yeah, 19 and a half half basically. Final score pretty good. Can't complain. This is strategic game planning. So let's just take a moment here to understand the last few moves. So the pawn went up to h5, and the rook yeah. came up to h3 because rook lifts are always fun. You should always play that them. That is what it is. And after e5, rook Doers? f3. Well, what's no, better than putting a knight in f3? Guys, guys oh, rook, because that yeah, rook's in the attack. However, I think this game still counts. It's not like Arena Kings where the game doesn't count, I don't believe. The game will still count for the score because it's the game that started before time ran out. Unlike in Arena Kings. That is when the match so timer still will so eventually hit zero. And it's and a half to half. 10 seconds away. Um, like, he is 14 seconds. He is saving us from talking more about this match because in Kara Nakamura is going to win this game and he has won the match. Not even 20. Yeah, that's life. Not even 20. Tough match for uh, for um, for Brandon for sure. I mean, what, what what can I really say? I mean, he, he tried to do his best. 20, why, why not 20 zero? Car? You're so bad. You can't even double adopt. I know. 19 and a half. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, you guys. What can I say?